Hi guys, Ryan Whiting here. Um, I got asked recently by a thrower um, what I do to keep my hand healthy. Um, he's been having some issues with, with hand health, throwing a little bit further, and as you throw further, it stresses your hand more in shot put. Um, I do a lot of grip work, um, and I, I also do a lot of uh, hand, forearm, and upper arm rehab. Um, I'm going to go through my grip workout today. It's just, it's pretty simple. Um, just some wrist rolls with the bar and our wrist curls with the bar. And then um, I have a wrist roller that attaches to my rack. And I can show you that a little up closer. Just this and it pivots attached to the rack. It's from Sorenex if you want to buy one. Um, but I've accumulated a lot over the years, so I'm just going to kind of go through each of it and what I use it for, and um, I hope this helps. Alright, so first I'll go through the wrist roller. I'll go both forward, which is rolling this way, and then backwards rolling that way. Just uh, superset that with a set of wrist rolls. I go pinky on the edge of the knurling, and I actually just sit down in a squat position and go down to my fingertips and back up. And I'll do it anywhere from 10 to 15 times. Uh, those are my two exercises for today. Uh, I'll go through them two more times and then I'll show you guys a couple extra things that I won't be doing today. Alright guys, um, now that I finished my grip workout for the day, I'm going to show you a couple other things that I, I do from time to time. I have a variety so I don't get bored. Um, one of the coolest things is these uh, hand grenades by Sorenex and you can actually, this is the three inch and then there's the four inch and you can actually just loop that strap around a dumbbell and you can do holds or farmers walks um, I like to do farmers walks just so I'm moving somewhere not just standing there holding something um, but I'll go I don't know with a hundred pound kettlebell or something I'll go 40 yards down and back three times or two times and then the third time down and back and to failure. Um, the next set is these Captains of Crush Grippers. Maybe a lot of you have seen these. Um, I have anywhere from the trainer which is the easiest all the way up to the four. You can actually get certified on these and I, th I believe I think only five or six people are certified on the four in the world. It is extremely hard to close. Um, I've closed a this three and a half with my right hand and a three with my left hand. These really take a lot of practice. Just um, Captain's of Crush has a lot of videos out that you can you can go and watch. Um, the third thing, I actually already have a video of me using the sledgehammer, but it's just basically some wrist mobility, um, curls, and then backwards. Uh, you can go check out my video on that. Um, another easy thing to do that most people have access to is just pinch grip, which is just thumb on one side, fingers on the other side. And you just pick up, and you can just hold it. Hold for time, or do farmer's walks, or really anything. Um, another really easy thing that Sorenex has available are these. It's called a fat grip and it will actually open up 
and it kind of makes your regular bar into a fat bar. And you could just stand and do holds with this. I usually just put 315 or 405 on the bar and just do 30 second holds. Um, that's another good one. Now that I went through the uh, grip workout, even more importantly is the rehab station. Um, over the years, becoming a professional, throwing a little bit further, it really started to stress my hand out, my elbow, my, my tricep. One of the simplest things you can get is just a rubber band because with, as throwers, we get a lot of work on our, our flexors, the inside of your forearm. You don't get a lot of work extending. So to even things out, I'll just do a hundred of these, go out and hold, twist your arm into different positions, put it above your head, down towards the ground. Just work the other side and get a little bit of balance in your life. It'd be like, um, I don't know if you squatted and didn't do any posterior chain work or only did triceps, no biceps. Um, it's a simple thing, but it is important and I think it helps. Um, some other cool things that I have, um, a trainer on the Diamond League circuit, Andy, um, he works with a company called, I don't know if you can see it, um, www.fattool.com, and these are actually aluminum, they're a little bit abrasive, um, it's actually fascial abrasion, is what FAT stands for, fascial abrasion technique. Um, and there's all kinds of different ones. Um, I would recommend for beginners only getting this one, not only because you can't hurt yourself with it, um, but because it is the least expensive. I think it's some, something around $150. As for this one, I think it's 300 something, and the other one's 300 something. So, I mean, I had just the one for two years and I did I did well with that one but as I started getting better and um, started learning how to use these a little better I can really dig into my scar tissue with my elbow or certain little areas of my hand with something like this um, it's hard to demonstrate but on their website they have or if you would buy one of these they have a whole just list of videos of how to do every body part and for me, these have been these have been great. Um, another really easy thing to get is just this. It's kind of goofy looking, but here I'll give you. A, it actually opens up, and you strap it on your knee with this. Um, and I'll actually do a short demonstration on this because it just looks too wacky to be a be any help. Um, but with that, you have a few other attachments for digging into different parts of your arm. Um, all right, so I'll just I'll just move on to the uh, the arm aid is what this is called. You can get them on Sorenex's website or armaid.com, wherever you feel like getting it. I'll do that demonstration in a second. All right, so I'm just going to go through my, my short rehab session for just any day I throw, basically. Um, I just got this, I don't know, it's called Myosage Lotion, and I'm using the fat tool that looks like a scimitar. Um, you can actually do all of this with the, the stick one. It's just, I like this one a little better. It's a lot more expensive, so I'd still recommend the stick. Um, but basically, you just put some lotion on put that down. and since this side's rounded I'll just bend my wrist so everything is stretched and you just not not too hard you don't need too much pressure it's kind of what I like about it um, but you're just breaking up some of the scar tissue on the mus muscle fascia and getting blood flow to the area so it heals. Um, and really it doesn't take that long. Uh, after I do that side, I'll just flip over. Hand is again down so everything I'm scraping is, flex is uh, stretched. So you just go over that area too, all the way down into your wrist. And 
and you can stretch and unstretch everything. But if I had better sound, you'd be able to hear it. Uh, it's kind of crunchy in there, so you know. Uh, you can definitely feel it working. Um, then I can go into my hand, just put a little lotion on my hand, and I have this rounded side. So I'll just get in all the tiny little muscles there. Um, this is the one that I, I would recommend waiting on for a little bit. I just do it because I've been doing this for a while. Um, just give everything a quick once over. If anything feels especially painful, um, focus on it a little bit, a little more. Um, I'll then go to my elbow, put a little on my elbow, and really dig into those fibers with the uh, rounded side. And for you, you'll know what, where it's painful. I get the back of my elbow, it's painful once in a while. Um, the other thing I do is my tricep. Because I do get uh, my tricep tendons pull on that elbow joint and everything kind of gets angry in there. After I move from the fascia stuff, I can put this tool down. And I'll move over to this crazy looking contraption. Uh, I actually just got this this year, but I really like it because it does stuff that um, you can't really do to yourself, that only a massage therapist could do. So it turns and it's attached to my leg, so it stays like that. Uh, it comes with a band that you can use for pressure, but I actually just use my offhand and squeeze as I need to. So I'll go. If you find anywhere that's especially painful, you can go over that, but I basically just give my arm a once over. And I'm squeezing pretty hard, I, I mean, there's no way to tell you how hard I'm squeezing, but just enough to get in there. And if you find a painful spot, you just get in, move your hand around. There are a ton of videos on this, this website also, it's armade.com. And then I'll flip the tool around, and I'll go on the inside of my arm. And then it actually has this adjustment right here. If you bring it out the whole way, you can pull it wider. So then I'll put the back of my tricep and I can actually do a little ART on myself. This especially is something that only a trainer or a massage therapist can usually do to you. It's hard to do ART on the back of your arm or certain parts of your body. So that's why this tool is so helpful to me. So I'll just give everything a once over, and then that's pretty much it. Um, that's that's the routine I go through after every time I throw. Um, after this, I'll go fill up either an ice bucket or I'll get in the ice bath and also put my arm in. Um, but I'll I'll go up to about here with ice. So just make sure you get your elbow in because even if you don't have elbow problems now, if you keep going, you probably will. Um, I hope this helps, guys. Uh, leave comments or questions if you have them. Thank you.